Right, hello everybody and welcome. I am excited today because I have Justin back with me. Hello, Justin. Hi, Elise. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. So, it is a cold, wet, horrible December day here in the UK, but the, the light is shining bright because Justin is here. <laughs> So See, I wish it was shining bright on our side. I wish that was would be also shining. I'm surrounded in fog here in Switzerland. It's also cold and wet. Uh, although it's been quite a warm winter so far, we've been quite quite fortunate. Uh, so thank you to everybody that's here and a very warm welcome to whenever you are watching this, whether it's morning, afternoon or evening. Yay. So Justin, do you want to give a quick overview of who you are? Um, so hi everybody, my name is Justin Damien Finesse. I am a behavior and high performance specialist, um, trained in integrative medicine and the founder of the LifePrint system, uh, your human operating system in a box. Oh, I like that. That's good. <laughs> now, anyone who knows me knows that I like anything that helps people reach their potential. So for me, Justin and LifePrint is really in that box, so I'm very excited to talk to you today. So, Justin, do you want to start off by telling us what LifePrint is? Um, LifePrint basically really is a solution to solve the biggest challenge that we have and that we're being faced currently, um, and that's of mental health. Uh, if we just kind of take a look at the stats that are going on, it is absolutely um, astounding. And it's crazy that no one's really talking about this. Um, and we've got this huge behavior ep epidemic at the moment where we've got very big, we're being faced with very big challenges. And so LifeRent really is there to offer a solution to help people to better evaluate um, basically getting away from standardized models, um, helping them to better evaluate how their human operating system works. Typically what I find is a lot of people are not given the necessary tools in their development to really understand their human operating system. And so without these tools, we rely on an outside measurement model of standardized either social conditions or social expectations or cultural um, inheritances that we have from the time. And so we measure outside of ourselves and we're never really given the tools to properly evaluate, hang on, um, I may be different. And so this is a consequence of really our conditioning that we have throughout our upbringing and our developmental process. And so LifePrint is really there to firstly give a grounding and a foundation into understanding how your human operating system works in terms of from conception through the developmental processes that we all life cycles that we go through in terms of our life. And then how to better evaluate who we are and what are, what is normal for us to experience and not waiting or relying on some outside standardized model or some outside evaluation telling us what's normal or not normal for us to experience. And so it really is to help each individual. And there's, so there's different layers of, of the system, but it's typically there to help each individual really understand, okay, what is my full spectrum of potential? whether that be me in a protective mindset, which, by the way, is completely normal for everybody to experience, or um, what is it in a growth mindset? What are the two states? What are the patterns? What is normal for me to experience, whether it be growth or protective? And so I can better identify where these patterns are coming from and why they are there. And so really understanding how the human mechanism functions um, and how the energy is produced within the body and how we basically experience our everyday life um, and our everyday reality and how to make those changes and move and shift ourselves from a protective mindset to a growth mindset by understanding exactly how energy in the body is produced and why those behaviors are there, not how do we fix them because I truly believe there's nothing to fix. I truly actually don't believe we have a, a, a mental health epidemic or disease at the moment. I just think it's very misunderstood and we've allowed the outside 
um, to tell us what is, uh, and based on one standardized model to tell us, hey, this is normal or this is not normal for you to experience. Because we, we are in a place where everybody wants to get fixed a little bit. If they're feeling a bit down, everyone's like, smile, come on, be chirpy. And it's like, it's just strange. So one of the other things I was thinking while you were chatting was the whole, um, like, well, I know I've done Myers-Briggs and other things like that that are supposed to model how we are. You know, there's only so many boxes you fit into, and depending which day of the week, you fit into a different box. So, you know, that never really gives us a full picture of who we are because we're so unique. So that's why I love LifeBrink because it gives you so much detail. Um, so that's where life prints also differs from a lot of the psychometric and psychoanalytical tools that are out there. Um, obviously, we've done our own tests in, in our own research, um, and this isn't to kind of knock any of those tools because I think they all have a place and I think they're very, very important. Most of them, however, rely on questionnaires. And so you have to sit down and you have to fill out a questionnaire. And so we've done tests um, and, and I've basically given and, and given people personality, psychoanalytical tools and tests and given them to, and to, to get them done in different emotional states. Well, guess what? The test is always different, right? And so depending on the emotional states, depending, I can adjust the answers. And, um, so, um, and the tests typically don't change either. And so we get used to these types of questions and evaluations. And so it, it changes and chops as we go through, depending on where we're at within our own life. Um, life prints a little different where there's no tests. Um, our, our formulas are, are a little different in, in how they work. And we rely on a unified physics model um, to extrapolate those, those values. Now, when we actually have a look at those other psychoanalytical tools, there's another thing that we find that is perhaps um, omitted uh, from all of those evaluations, and that is what are the intimate and specific patterns of behavior? And so we don't really identify what the output and input values are in terms of, okay, is, is this a person that has anxiety, a propensity for anxiety? Can they handle, like, are they restless? What are the actual values of behavior that's being outputted here? Do they have a propensity for depression? Um, do they have a propensity for ideas and creativity? How do they make decisions? Are they left brain, right brain? How do they express themselves? Um, and so those real intimate values of expressions of the behavior output seem to be a little bit omitted. They're a little bit more ambiguous um, than one would hope or like. And so you don't really get a intimate observational viewpoint of what's really going on inside and, and what's that going to look like um, when it is expressed or projected into the environment. So it really enables us to understand ourselves. Absolutely. Uh, not only ourselves, but, you know, when we're communicating to other people, it, it really helps us to be aware of what's of consequence, what's of value, what's, what's, what's necessary for this person to experience in order for them to feel valued and fulfilled within their life. And so this is also a tool for communication in terms of, well, how's this person going to fit into this team when they get into the team? How is that communication? How is that energy going to balance itself? How's this relationship going to play out? What is important for my partner to experience in, in, in the relationship as opposed to me? Because we typically uh, basically give what we want, not what the other person needs. And so LifeFront really gives you insights into, hey, hang on, this is not me standing in front of me. And so I can't judge or measure them on my values and standards. Let me have a look at what theirs are. And so it gives me an ability to be able to A, serve better and help people to feel more fulfilled and valued because you understand exactly what it is that they need to feel fulfilled within their life. Um, and so, yeah, there's so many layers to really look at when you come to life and depending on um, who you are, what you're looking 
uh, to from the system and what you're hoping to gain in your life. It'll basically give you and meet you wherever you're at, which is so beautiful. Cool. And like being able to improve relationships, not just romantic relationships, any relationship is going to be amazing. Absolutely. At the end of the day, what's the what's the finite? What's the what's the keystone of everything? And 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 the one thing that's never going to go away, um, and that's people. At the end of the day, we're always going to be in a relationship with a ourself, and b either romantically, work colleagues, um, socially. Um, people are always um, the keystone of everything. And so, if you can really understand how the mechanism works in order for us to to feel like we're winning at this game of life. Um, What I love about life, Prince, is it just simply shows you what the rules are. And it says, these are the rules. Like, this is how you win in order for you, not anybody else's model, but this is your model. This is your own standard. This is what's normal for you to experience, and this is the full spectrum of your potential. And this is how the rules of your game in order to feel fulfilled um, and start feeling like life is happening for you and not to you. Um, And so I truly believe that life print really turns people from um, environmental reactors, waiting for the environment to give them something or waiting for the environment to tell them something, looking outside for that permission or appreciation because that's the, the consequence of our conditioning. Um, and turning us from environmental reactors into the energetic generators of our own experience, where we're not waiting for that, but we're generating our own needs um, and enjoying the journey in, in towards whatever the process is that we are here to grow into. Um, and that's subjective for everybody. Um, and that's a subjective truth for everybody. Yeah. There are so many things we could talk about. <clears throat> We'd be here all day. Um, but Absolutely. <laughs> I want to cover what is actually covered on the Life Print Level 1 course. So there's all these layers to it. So what do we actually get into on the course? Okay. So um, it's changed a little bit over the years. Um, and so like everything, things evolve and things change and things grow. Uh, I'm a true believer, you know, we've, we've always had students that have come and taken the course um, probably six to eight times. And every time they say, every time it's different um, because we keep discovering new things. There's new discoveries made all the time. Um, but basically what people are going to get when they, they come and join, join us for the three day live training um, is we're really going to train them. The first step is really a step of self leadership, uh, understanding um the basis of the life print system, how we start to evaluate. And we really look at uh, from, um, how do you say? So basically from how your conditioning comes about, how the human operating system works from um, pregnancy all the way through to to death um, at the end of the day, to, to transitioning into a, another experience of life. And so... During the three-day training, they're going to get the LifePrint software application. So we've built a a piece of technology that basically you'll be taught and given. Um, It's online, so the whole course is online. You'll receive all the videos, all the workbooks, all the slides, um, all the access channels to have all the software um, at your disposal. So you'll never be without it. It's fully mobile, responsive, and friendly. So wherever you go, you've got your life print calculator with you, which is absolutely awesome. Um, so you get all of that. And then basically what we're looking at is giving you the grounding in the foundations and how to analyze um, your friends, your family, um, the people around you, how to better communicate. Um, And there's exercises that we've thrown in the whole course in the three-day training is psychoactive, uh, meaning that we've designed specific exercises during the three days for you to unwind and basically shed your conditioning. And so really taking you back and, and wiping the layers clean and, and getting you to really immerse yourself into who you truly are um, and start expressing yourself more authentically and getting rid of all of those um, 
social expectations or cultural um, inheritances and stuff that may not be authentic for who you are. Um, it, it reminds me, we were having a chat the other day uh, and we we're talking about different, uh, different cultural inheritances. And so even in terms of different countries and being brought up in different countries and how being brought up in LA um, and in California and is very different to being brought up in Switzerland. Um, and so where Switzerland is a very introverted culture and it is not socially acceptable to be very extroverted and loud and, and, and um, expressive, uh, and so that's not normal. Whereas in LA or, or in the States, in California, if you introverted, it's very unusual because they appreciate more extroversion. Um, and there's, it's weird if you're not expressive and all of that and not being able to get out there. And so that may not be authentic to somebody and who they are. And so they get this, um, what I call a false self or a, or a mask or, or basically play a role that's not authentic to who they are. And that causes a mental breakdown or, or, or a breaking down of, of, of that challenge. And so it's, it's, and so they find difficulty in that. Um, and, and so because they are looking for t that appreciation or that, um, love or that acknowledgement. And so they do that to get that, but it's not authentic to who they are. Um, or they've been told you're disruptive. Um, and so they've got a negative um, connotation for disruption, where disruption can actually be a very growth uh, mindset and is very, very necessary. If you think about um, disruption, uh, if there was no disruption, there'd be no Uber. If there was no disruption, there would be no um, be Airbnb. And so disruptive natures. And so we've got all of these things and these outside messages telling us who we are, and there's conflict in terms of that. And so during the course, we'll show you exactly how this works, why there's conflict, how conflict has basically comes about, um, and how to deal with conflict consciously in terms of, oh, okay, what do I need to have a look at? Um, so we're going to basically also break down into how do we evaluate? And so most people will typically use different models of evaluation where most people are familiar with the IQ or EQ. And so your intellectual, your emotional um, potential. Um, but within LifeFront, there's five. And so we've got intellectual potential. We've got the ability to be emotional. We've got the ability to have motivational potential, to be able to negotiate and motivate people. We have the ability to build and research in terms of our practical abilities. We've got abilities to be spiritual and transform and forgive and go through transcendence and breakthrough. And so we've got this transformational spiritual potential too. And so all these different values, basically, you will learn within those three days how those extrapolate into um, different um, roles that we play within LifePrint. And so LifePrint looks at different senses or different sensory inputs. And so most people aren't the same person at home than when they, or when they go to work. They, they, put on a diff they play a different role. Um, and so what are the unconscious drivers within somebody's relationship? How are they going to instinctively respond when taken outside of their comfort zone? Um, even though people see us speaking like that, what are the tone of the voice that we speak with? Um, and, and how do we behave in that aspect? They see us within a work environment. They see us at home. But who do we identify with? How do we take, how do we step through our lives? How do we approach things that we enjoy doing? And how do we approach things when we don't really enjoy doing it? And how can we basically shift that between moving from, oh, I don't really enjoy doing it in this protective mindset to a growth mindset where we're in a state of, of enthusiasm and engagement. And then what are the lessons that we're here to really learn? How do we engage with people? Um, what are the challenges that we need to overcome? Um, and so really kind of helping people to walk through and understand their full life prints operating system for them. So their human operating system in a box. And then also be able to evaluate friends and family because yeah, at the end of the day, it, like it's a three-day course. I can't, it's, you know, I can't teach you everything in three days. 
And so the first three days is really just that foundation to really get to know the system, play with it, test it. Um, and because I really love people to be really, really skeptical um, because everybody comes in and they're like, what, you're going to do this and no ways. And that makes no sense. Like, how can you tell all of that? Uh, and then they start testing the system and then that's where they really go, no, this is, it's, it's, how can this be? It's, that's the accuracy of it. Um, and so um, when they actually come in and they start testing it against themselves, because there's no better tester than yourself. I mean, everybody knows who they are ultimately. Um, they just don't really understand their full spectrum and how the, it's almost like an operation manual. It's like a user manual for you. Here's your guidebook. This is how you're going to get to your destination. Um, and this is the best way to get to your destination um, without chasing everybody away. They have more fun along the way as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, it's, it gives, for me, the beautiful thing about life, for instance, it gives you acceptance and permission just to be you. Um, you know, I truly believe nobody is broken. Nobody's damaged. Nobody needs to be fixed. Um, these are all consequences of bad education um, and, and, and really terrible information. Um, and when we just basically look at the fundamental objective truths, these are objective truths. They cannot be denied. It is not a subjective um, um, all men are asshole kind of truth in terms of what I'm telling myself. It's an objective truth. And so we really look at the objective truths and how the brain is, how the behavior is conditioned, um, what, it, what is the developmental processes, and why is it that this this life of feeling fulfilled and, and feeling happy and, and, and getting in, and enjoying happiness is so elusive for so many people. Um, and, and why is it so hard and why is life so challenging and why do we have this, all of this? No one's really asking the why's they're just trying to fix it. Um, and so I really, for me, mental health and mental behavior is, is really a understanding of, um, what is what are the objective truths of how we operate and function? Because it, there's not one standard. There's many standards. You know, it's not like we're not robots. Like we're not cookie cutters. Um, it's not a cookie cutter. This is you know, like this is not a production line at the end of the day. And so life and really looks at those different layers and those those different levels. Um, what's great is we've taken a lot of the heavy science out um, of the foundational course. And so there's more time to play and more time to enjoy. Um, and we've brought more of the science back into the later, the, the later deeper dives. Uh, and so this is really just helping people to, so we've taken all the physics out and all the unified yeah, physics and we're bringing that in we'll later. No. <laughs> hey, we're taking all the quantum physics out. It's always my favorite bit. No. Yeah, um, so there is a little bit of it, but in terms of the formulas and and how the geometries and everything, in terms of that that heavy physics, so um, the background and, and and the basis of life prints is really underpinning um, Carl Jung, Bruce Lipton, and Nassim Haramein are really the core um, science behind it. Uh, when we start looking at that Rupert Sheldrake coming in, in terms of that, we're looking at um, uh, basis of Maslow, um, and then also going into Ericsson and Ericksonian um, psychology. So we're really kind of looking at that basis. And so we're trying to make it as user friendly as possible in the first kind of foundation. So the three days is really a lot of fun, uh, a lot of activity, uh, and, and just really kind of getting used to the software and understanding how um, you function because there's a lot of work that actually happens um, subconsciously and psychoactively during those three days. And so although you're learning a whole new system, you're also working on yourself during those three days because you actually starting to understand, hey, hang on, um, this is how I actually function. Oh, wow. You know, everybody's focusing and, and, and looking at the emotions, but the emotions are just kind of one point. Um, and, and so where do the emotions come from? And so understanding exactly what the human drive is um, and, and where those emotions actually stem from, um, which then produce a behavior output. 
Uh, so helping people to really understand, hey, like this is this is these are the tools. This is what I have at my disposal, and these are my natural talents and abilities that I can literally triple down on and use to my advantage. Um, and so there was, uh, I was recently working, or not recently, it was was a couple of months ago. Um, did an interview with uh, Dr. Tracy Clark, um, and she basically turned around and she said, you know, this is so beautiful, Justin, because this the when you look at the life print system it gives you that protective mindset gives you um the ability almost the same as a symptom by saying hey um there's something that we're not getting um that's necessary and highly valued for us please can you sort it out because that's all a protective mindset is is it's trying to protect itself and fulfill a need. And so that's all it really is doing. And so when you understand that this is completely natural, um, people just also need to put down the fucking stick. Uh, a lot of us are just way too hard on ourselves. Um, and, and we're not accepting or appreciating that um, the, full, the full spectrum of actually who we are and the necessity of um, having both sides of a protective and a growth mindset. There's nothing wrong with you. Um, and so these, we need to move away from these ideas of, oh, depression's bad and anxiety's bad. And I'm like, fuck that. Turn your sensitivity into a superpower. Like really take hold of it. And when you can actually understand it and, and what its function is, that can be used for an incredible amount of growth. And so protective mindsets and those protective behaviors can actually, once understood, be used in a growth mindset state, but then it's done. Um, it doesn't stay there. It doesn't, it, it's very necessary. Um, it's the same thing as fear is necessary. It, you know, people need to get over this like kind of thing of fear is bad. Fear is very fucking necessary. Like, uh, please take, like a lot of clients come to me and they're like, oh, I'm so scared. Please take away my fear of this. And I was like, no, like, I'm not going to do that because fear is very necessary for you to have. Um, because if you're standing in front of a lion, um, you better believe that it's necessary to have some fear to get you to run away, right? And that fear is generates and it generates stuff like, and so we need to have a look at the right lens and the right context and in terms of, okay, well, you know, what's healthy and, and, and what's, path, what's pathological, what's not healthy, what's disruptive, what's detrimental to us. Um, and so this also is great because it also gives us insight into when something is pathological because it's not part of the natural um, wiring of that person. It's not part of the natural connections. And so if someone who has a natural propensity and a natural talent and ability to be very expressive and, and, and extroverted, uh, if that person is then very introverted, doesn't want to communicate, doesn't want to speak to anybody, goes completely inside, you know there's something going on there that's a lot more pathological because it's not part of that person's natural behavior or wiring or um, um, energetic art, uh, expression. Um, and so, yeah, um, that's what people basically learn in the three days. Uh, so it's, it's, it's packed with information that you will, you never, you will always, and this is the great thing. Um, I'm a big believer in just uh, making sure that everybody is always connected and always getting value. And so when you join the first three day and you come take the live training with us, um, we give you access to every single live stream we do wherever we are in the world, or when we do new recordings, you can always, in, your, in the comfort of your own home, just basically tune in and do the whole three days again at no extra charge. Um, and so we connect you. We've got a whole online architecture for you. You can take the course again and again and again and, um, as often as you want. It's all recorded online for you, all the slides, all the videos. You can go through it at your own pace. Uh, you, you get connected to a live print Facebook community um, where you can ask questions. You can stay engaged with me. And, um, basically it's, we just basically want to help everybody and give everybody the tools necessary for them, um, to start feel as if, as though they are winning in life. And so kind of giving them the guidebook to, um, to the, to their vehicle basically. Um, and so I always use the metaphor of cars. Um, you know, we use, we use different vehicles to get to our destination. 
um, those vehicles uh, need fuel. Um, and that fuel drives the vehicle to where we need to go. It just depends on how we want to get there. And so we use these different vehicles in order to fulfill ourselves and meet these performance needs um, within our life. Uh, and so it's this is basically helping you to understand what your fuel is, how does that energy get produced in that vehicle, and what are the vehicles that you're using to fulfill your life? What's natural or not natural for you to experience? Cool. So, Justin, who is the course for? Who would be interested in coming on the three days? Um, you know, I've actually sat down and thought about this, and it's really – challenging and difficult for me to find a domain where this is not useful um so you know for those people who are like myself completely obsessed with self-development and who are spiritual seekers uh, this is literally a course that is designed for you um, and it will meet you no matter where you're at along your journey. I'm a big person um, and a big, be- uh, not a big person, well, maybe my gut has gotten a bit, a bit big, um, but I'm a big believer in, um, in literally questions and answers. And so if you come on this course, um, I'm very engaging in terms of um, getting questions going and getting conversation going. I really believe that there's not enough space that we give ourselves in order to have deep, meaningful conversations these days. And so the three-day event is also um, an immersion and, and exploration into uh, the understanding of what our human operating system and our potential really is. Um, and so I, I love the engagements and, and the engaging experiences. Um, so self-development obsessive types and spiritual seekers, um, if you're a clinician, um, we've trained in the past, a lot of psychiatrists and psychologists, um, energy practitioners, energy workers, anybody that has a service-based clinician practice, massage therapists, um, osteopaths. Uh, And so the reason for this is I truly believe that the days of specialization are over, um, and people are really looking for somebody and, and, and a person to go to that is well-rounded and masterful in more than one area. And so not going to, for instance, I'm going to a liver specialist and I just specialize in that. People are now looking for somebody that is multi-talented in many areas and masterful and understanding many things. So you'll pro- you find that's why you find a lot of osteos now are doing a whole bunch of other things as well. And so they'll and and they'll mix and they'll they'll everybody's kind of using a multi layered approach because people are a complex and one route is never ever going to be the only route, and so life prints is really good for practitioners, clinicians, facilitators, trainers, coaches who want to really understand and help their clients um, on a way deeper level because you will be able to understand what it is that they need, not what you think they need um, in terms of um, understanding who they are. And so even as clinicians and even as as um, coaches or, or facilitators or whatever we are, we get training that also may be um, literally weighted in terms of what the current um, standard is, or once again, that standardized model. Um, And so we can get locked down into thinking, oh no, our client's got depression, we must fix their depression. And well, actually no, their depression is actually never gonna go away because that's a natural protective mindset for them. That's part of who they are, that's part of our wiring and part of our survival wiring. And that's a behavior of a protective mindset that's natural for that person. And so that's never going to be fixed or go away. But in order to understand what that behavior is and why it's being generated out of a need of not feeling significant, out of a need of not feeling connected, out of a need of um, not having enough variety. Um, And so identifying what that is and helping that person to then shift and having giving them the control. Because at the end of the day, if you're relying on an outside source or an outside measurement or an outside standard, you're not in control anymore. You've now handed over your control and you said, no, 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 no. You tell me what's normal for me to experience. And so this is where the conflict is coming in with most of us. Um, and so for, for facilitators and, and clinicians and um, for trainers and coaches, brilliant. 
if you're a manager, HR, if you are in charge of any talent, if you're a talent manager or in recruitment, or if you're in C-suite and you have teams underneath you that you're responsible for, if you're in recruitment or any of that, this is going to be exceptional for you. Um, we've got to get away from looking in business as people, as resources, uh, and we've got to get more connected in helping them to feel more valued and fulfilled within their role that they're doing within um, that organization. And so we really need to, uh, there's a great uh, a business that's really looking at this. It's Bridgewater uh, Associates, which is um, Ray Dalio, and also Gary Vaynerchuk in terms of Vayner Media. Uh, and his um, HR manager, I, I can't remember her name right now, just I've been talking to her on, on LinkedIn in terms of rebranding HR to really hot relationship offices. Uh, there's not enough of connection. There's not enough of your matter in the, in the business. There's not enough um, in terms of um, community happening and culture happening with, within that. And so really helping people to understand how they can feel more fulfilled and therefore more engaged and therefore higher quality of work and therefore higher outputs of energy, uh, less adrenal fatigue, less conflict, less sick days. I mean, the, 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 the benefits are just huge. And so for any business owner um, or C-suite executive, talent manager, recruitment, any of that, uh, absolutely awesome. Um, parents? parents Oh my God. Um, you know, I was sitting, I was sitting here last night and I was having a chat with one of my uh, mentees at the moment and, and just helping her with her practice. And we we're having a discussion and she's building an online course. Um, and we we're talking about how you really, when you find and you discover your mission and you really are so passionate and so aligned with everything, it's kind of like, oh fuck, I wish I had this when I was 13. And so that's what life print is for me. If I had this when I was 13, coming into my emotional years, that individuation that starts to happen, that identity that starts to switch on in those adolescent years, if I had this guidebook, like that would be it for me. That would be the absolute, uh, the absolute best. Um, and so, you know, parents, this is really going to help you to lead your children and to guide them in a way that is just – so beautiful because you get to nurture them for who they are, not for who you want them to be. Um, and I think that is just the most beautiful thing um, because typically children in, in this day and age are so stressed out. Um, there's so much pressure. There's so much um, emphasis on succeeding and setting them up for success. Most parents actually get kept up at night um, worrying that school is not going to be enough to set their children up for success. And I truly believe that too. Um, I, I really don't think school is designed to set us up for success. Um, I really don't believe we're given the tools necessary in our, in, in our developmental process to understand the functioning of the human. Like, how do we really, how do we work? Um, and so this is really coming to the stage now, and, and, and this is really great because there's a lot of people having these conversations and, and speaking up, um, and there was a huge kind of consciousness mass shift awareness in terms of, oh, hang on, we've got to start taking responsibility and accountability for who we are. And all of a sudden, there was this surge and this awareness of self-development and like this whole kind of growth from 2007 through 2012, it really heats, reached its peak. Um, and then it's kind of kind of drifted off a little bit. It's kind of almost like it's got, it went mainstream and then it went like, meh, it's kind of shriveled off. And so now we're starting to see the real um, hard evidence of um, what this looks like as a new system or a new model. Because it was almost like, oh, it's like, you know, it's a new toy. It's like, oh, wow, look at this. Boom. And there's this huge explosion. And then like everybody gets like, oh, okay, the toy is there. And then, but then we start to get like proper um, systems that are born out of this that are really starting to, to shape um, where we're going to be moving to in the future. 
Um, and with, you know, the coming of artificial intelligence, um, with the coming of the changes that are really happening, I mean, the ground has shifted so much beneath our feet. I don't think people actually realize yet. Um, and so with this shift and with this change, we're going to really need, it's necessary and it's, it's, it's of utmost importance um, that we need tools that are going to be able to properly evaluate and be able to help people um, either upskill themselves, cross-skill themselves um, in terms of what they're really good at, how they function, what's necessary for them to feel fulfilled in this coming um, age of artificial intelligence. Um, because it's going to happen and it's going to happen quickly. I don't think people really understand how quickly it's going to to shift. Um, and so LifePrints is beautifully positioned to help people to do that um, and also to help with that change because there's going to be a, a lot of people that are going to be pretty upset. Um, there's going to be a lot of people going through a lot of protective mind states. Um, and so helping them to make this shift and this transition um, into rewiring, reshaping uh, their, their operating system um, is going to be very, very necessary in the coming future. Cool. So, Justin, can you expl or give us some examples of people that have used this? Uh, absolutely. Um, so we've got parents, we've got um, businesses, we've got facilitators um, and practitioners. We've got people on self-development journeys and looking for and spiritual seekers. And so examples of where this is being used. Um, let's have a look at within business. Uh, so we've got a lot of um, B2B companies that are looking and that are growing quite substantially and looking at recruiting more staff. Here's the challenge is no matter how good somebody looks on paper, when you put them into a new team, how they immerse and how they balance into that team um, and, and how that team accepts them um, and how that team behaviorally is balanced is of huge consequence. And so you can have a superstar on paper, but put them into a team and the whole thing collapses. Um, so really helping to identify what the behavior dynamics of a team is in order for it to reach its, um, its goals and its trajectories. For instance, if you've got a sales team um, and you basically their objective and their trajectory is to hit targets and hit sales, um, but the behavioral dynamics of that team are operating as a customer care center. Um, you're not really going to reach your targets because that behavioral dynamics, they're just going to sit around and talk all day. Um, and so making sure that you've got the right um, energetic potential or performance potential to achieve what you need to do. Are you dying there, Louise? Does some water go down the wrong way? Um, Trying to finish what you were saying. <laughs> um, yeah, good. So, you know, it helps within businesses. And so that's an example of where this is being used. Um, within relationship therapy for any facilitators or relationship coaches out there, it's really uh, useful to help each other and, and your clients to understand who they are and what it is that each other needs straight away before like five or six sessions of trying to figure this out, you already know. And so you can better facilitate them in terms of that conflict resolution to better understand how that works and, and what is necessary and what are the needs on, on either side. Um, a lot of our relationship drivers are unconscious. Um, and so it's very hard for the other person to figure it out. Um, whereas with life prints, it's right there on, on like right there in front of you. It's, it's that simple. Uh, so that's a really good um, example of how this is being used um, within energy or um, consciousness-based healthcare, whether you're doing um, kinesiology, whether you're doing body talk, whether you're doing matrix energetics, whether you're doing any kind of, um, uh, or even with, if it's osteopathy or acupuncture or whatever, um, this is really going to give you a map of someone's uh, real fundamental energy, energetic signature from fundamental particles all the way to the, um, how the, the energy and the information actually comes in through cellular function. Through It's got different layers that we look at it. Um, although those um, topics and those themes will basically be taught much a little bit later on. Um, and so for 
clinicians, facilitators, and people on the spectrum of integrative medicine. Um, those conversations will happen much later, but that's not to say that you can't start using what you learn within the first three days anyway. Um, and so there is a track for you if you are in that industry, if you're in integrative medicine, um, if you're an energy or consciousness-based healthcare provider, uh, there is a track for you where we can take you a little bit deeper and show you that some of the um, special functions of when we actually work with somebody on their specific life print. Um, and so there's different layers and different, depending on where you're at. Um, Within the parental side of things, examples, you know, we've got a beautiful family. One of my coordinators in South Africa um, really had a conflict with her kids in terms of two very different kids, two very different children. Um, and they were having a, a lot of challenges at home in terms of meeting those needs. And when they took life print, they really understood um, what each child specifically needed and in order for them to feel valued within the family, unit, like they belong. Uh, and so, it, you know, there's a big thing that we tend to do is, oh, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. What you give one child, you have to give the other child. Um, and so LifeBrint really goes, well, no, that's really not the case. And so it really helps you to look at each little human um, and really help them to feel safe and secure in their development and helps you to nourish and nurture their natural talents, gifts, and abilities and how, how to help them handle their sensitivities. Um, and so really making an environment that is safe and secure um, for their um, particular life print. And so, the, yeah, those are a couple of examples. Yay. So we've got Life Print Level 1 coming to Brighton in the UK on the 1st and yes. 3rd of February. I'm very excited to have you back. Excellent. And yeah, it's like Life Print's evolved so much since I lost at the course. I'm really excited to see, see where we are now. So let's show everybody what they're going to get. All right. And so I'm just going to share my screen very quickly. And so everybody can get an idea. So welcome to the Life Print Calculator, everybody. Um, I hope you can see that and that is clear for you to see. Um, this is basically the software platform that you will be given uh, when you join us for the three-day training. Um, and this is basically, you'll come up here, there's a little calculator, and so you'll put in people, uh, a person's information. And so we've just got my information here at the moment. You'll be able to ex see exactly um, what life cycle they're in, um, exactly what year within that month, within that day. And so we look at, at different timelines uh, and then you'll basically be taught how to interpret the life print calculator, how to evaluate um, behavior, how to enhance behavior and how the operating system works. And so you'll see we've got different values here. This is the home personality, the social or business personality and role, um, what it is that you need in order to feel um, valued and fulfilled within your career and purpose. Who do you identify with? How, do you, how does your instinct work? How do you instinctively respond? What is it that you need in your relationship? Um, and so we're just going through a few. How do you approach your life? Uh, what are the lessons and challenges that you need to um, overcome? And then there's all this lovely juicy stuff. And so as we go down the layers, we learn uh, really what the um, human operating system looks like from an energy perspective. And we look at we basically delve and immerse ourselves deeper as we get further on into the training. And we look at um, basically what this looks like and the representation model of how um, information and awareness and perception uh, basically functions within the human system and operating system. And so that's what people will basically learn and be given during the three-day training. Cool. Um, so we're going to get everyone to turn up with a laptop or an iPad or some kind of electrical device so that you can actually go through this over the weekend. Exactly. And so the best thing to do is the technology is just to either have a tablet or a laptop. That's the best, works the best, um, or a really big phone. 
Um, the phones are great, they're fine, um, and so they will work. And at the end of the day, if you don't have a tablet, if you don't have a laptop, don't worry. Um, you'll do this in pairs. And so someone's going to have, and so you'll pair up, um, and we'll also be doing a few demonstrations. And I'll be demonstrating live uh, and showing you exactly what the potential is. We'll basically be doing some measurements before, measurements after, showing you exactly the change, how the body responds to stress, um, how these emotions and memories and conditions are actually stored at the physical layer within the body, um, how that affects the functioning of the body and then the energetic output of the body. Uh, and so this is a very, um, it's a very active class. It's not kind of bums on seats and sit there and, and, and listen. And so um, it's, it's, it's very busy. And so it's quite dynamic. Um, and so it's a lot of fun and people are going to explore and immerse them, immerse themselves into, into this realm, which is, I just find it so beautiful um, and brilliant. And so, yeah. Cool. I'm excited. Woohoo! Yeah. Two finally coming together again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Had such a great time last time. Um, we were in Brighton. Last time you were here. So, yeah. Looking forward to coming back. Now, anyone who came last time, the course has changed quite a bit, but we are going to give you a discount. So, if you came Absolutely. before and you want to come back and play, because you're going to get all the software this time and all of that. Absolutely. Um, and so what, what it is, is we really want to give um, all of those people some really great value. And so we've, we've discounted it huge. Um, and they're going to get all of that architecture. So, you know, if I can basically take you now, and if we've got, do we have time? Why not? <clears throat> So let me show you exactly what it is you're going to get. Um, not so me. You're not getting me. <laughs> well, we can throw Eloise in as a bonus if, if anybody wants. Okay. Um, and so you're going to come in this. So this is the architecture that we have. And so you'll basically join up and you'll sign in um, and you'll go to – Yes. And so everybody that takes the three day live training with us, we'll give you all of this architecture and it never goes away. Once you pay, we're not going to take it away. It's yours. It's yours forever. Um, we give you the ability to meet other people and other people who have taken the course. If you want to practice, we give you meeting rooms that you can come into and basically use. Um, and so here's the training and so uh, all the slides and everything's there for you that you can go through at your own pace uh, and the course manual ready for you to download um, and you can basically go through whenever you want to after the three-day training and catch up the calculator is embedded there for you uh, to go through and everything is at your disposal and so we really, really are looking forward and hope that you can join us for the three days um, on the first weekend of February uh, 2019 at the Hilton in Brighton um, right for three scene, days right? of complete and utter immersion fun. And I can guarantee you, if I know Eloise, it's going to be an absolute you know, I actually f struggle to find the words sometimes because I, there's not been one coordinator or one team member that I work with that I laugh as much as I do when I'm with Eloise. Um, and so, you know, fun really doesn't pinpoint, it doesn't do the, the experience justice. Um, and so I'm really looking forward to it because the last three days were just so much fun in class. Um, and at the event and, and everybody just got so much benefits out of it. It really did feel like a, a, a close family. Um, and so I'm looking forward to being back. And so thank you very, very much for everything that you're doing, Eloise, um, and, and everything that you, you continue to do. I'm, I'm super, super grateful. And it's just awesome to work with people that are as passionate and aligned as you are. Thank you, Justin. Yeah. And I only work with people that I like too. <laughs> Thank goodness. Otherwise, what's the point? Oh, but yeah, thank you. Uh, this is, I am really genuine. I always say I'm excited about everything, but genuinely, I only do things that I'm excited about. So, but that's good. Justin's coming back. We are discounting the first 10 spots. 
One of them's gone already, <laughs> at least. So I that haven't looked at this mm -hmm. Okay, great. Um, so by the time that this goes out, this recording, all you're going to have to do is there's a special free gift um, from my heart to yours. Um, and so Eloise is basically going to hopefully send this out in an email or post yeah, it somewhere. Yeah, but yeah, so okay. we'll email it out. Um, and so we'll send a link and we'll put a link in where if you're interested in joining the course with us um, and only if you're interested in joining the course um, with us, basically click the link, um, grab your free guidebook. Um, sign up and basically that'll give you an introduction and an overview of everything that you're going to learn uh, in the three days with us. And so from my heart to yours, um, have a look at that and, and just have a look at how beautiful um, this system really is in exploring who you are and what you're here to do. And we all want more of that. Thank you. Yes, we do. Yay. So if you've got any questions or anything, drop me an email, info at eloiseansel.com. And if you've got any questions about the course or the training, I'll pass them on to Justin if I can't answer them. Perfect. Um, and if we get a lot of them, let's maybe perhaps just do a questions and answer call. Yes, we will. Cool. Okay. Perfect. Right. Thank you for joining Thanks. us, Justin. Looking Thanks, forward Eli. to February. I can never say that word. Uh, <laughs> I will see you all soon. Okay. Thank Take you care. very much. Bye. Bye.